Blast Dragon. This is the most exciting Rival Blaster we've gotten in a while now. The Prometheus is cool. Don't get me wrong. The Prometheus is really cool. But it's $200 and uh, it's ergonomically just very, very difficult to wield for me. Uh, maybe not for you. Maybe you like being the Juggernaut. But uh, this was 100% built for me. So like this is the Hades. Now the Rival Hades, if you couldn't tell by how much hype I had in my Toy Fair video, is essentially just a double-sized Artemis. Is that even that big a deal? Yes, it's that big a deal! This is an adult-sized Artemis. The Artemis was very compact, which was nice, don't get me wrong, but I am a significantly tall person, and I want a full rival rifle. Rival rifle, rival rifle. It's fun to say. Try saying it. Anyway, this is the Hades. The Hades is just a double Artemis. It holds 60 rounds in its full integrated built-in magazines, which means no juggling those and it comes to us in Phantom Core colors. Will it ever come to us in red and blue? Only time will tell, but uh, this one is white. It's got a good aesthetic in that vein. On the back, it's just saying that it's got a spring action mechanism. It has velocity. It has accuracy. It has everything that we want. It's a spring-powered rival blaster, which means that it's more powerful than a flywheel rival blaster just out of the box. Now, the rate of fire is at least in theory slower, but it's got that sweet, sweet slam fire to keep you... Uh, <laughs> in it as far as rate of fire goes against the increasing hordes of Nima Prometheus. Um, so let's bust it out. Inside the pack you get I think the full 60 rounds which is awesome sauce. You get 59 in that bag and the one that I just threw over there. We won't worry about that. Belay that. Then inside here we get the blaster itself. And you get this little baggie inside which has one flag for team color indication and one piece of hot garbage. So, uh, the flag goes on in a number of places. There's a clip up front, which is convenient. There's a clip down here, which isn't bad. And then there's one in the back. The one in the back is pretty uh, simple. Now we've got a built-in kind of thumb port here. We've got a really comfortable stock in the back. We've got a good solid trigger well there. We've got our safety which is built in. Up is fire, down is no fire. So we're gonna put that permanently in the up position. And then this is our massive built-in hopper. Now, there's no reason for you guys to watch this in real time, so we're gonna do it in vampire speed. Filling it up to max capacity, you can see there's still plenty of room in here. So while it is designed to hold 60 rounds, it will absolutely hold 66. Uh, that's because once you kind of tease the rounds up into the barrel up here, which does, well, it doesn't like working when it's not all the way back, but once you tease some rounds into that barrel up there and they get rocking and rolling, there's plenty of flex back here, enough for two more rounds. Two times three is six, plus six is 66 in your maximum operating capacity. Now, what features does this have? Well, there's a switch down here for deep priming uh, to clear some jams should you encounter any, but realistically, it's just a big Artemis, which is awesome. The Artemis was the default go-to, I wanna be in a rival battle, I don't wanna spend a ton of money, and I wanna be effective with no tinkering now. Necessary, just out of the box, ready to go, awesome blaster performance. And uh, those came in team colors, so you could even buy two uh, for less than the cost of realistically the comparable rival blaster, which was the Nemesis. So, uh, this is a serious Springer contender. It's full size, and when I say full size, I mean like I am my size. The handle is comfortable, the foregrip is comfortable. I wish it was an AFG and not a VFG, but it's not that bad. The stock is comfortable. Everything about it is very, very nice. Now, its performance is, of course, what we've come to expect. It's standard rival Springer performance, which is about 10 FPS above uh, flywheel rival performance, or the same as you get with, like, the flywheels using the rival rechargeable battery pack. Changing that battery chemistry makes them a little bit better as well. But uh, firing it takes two primes to get it cycled in so that it's actually uh, hitting a ball each time it rotates through. But it's just a clean and easy rotating mechanism, just like the Artemis. It does have slam fire, which is so sweet. Uh, that slam fire is pulled down this trigger, and then every time you push this forward, it's going to fire. Now, that means that your rate of fire, if you're not super concerned with accuracy, can be 
pretty pretty lickety split. So uh, you can see that it likes to empty uh, this way. I guess that would be counterclockwise through its cylinders. Uh, it empties this one first, and then these two. So if you are right-handed, your opponents will see uh, this draining. But it's good because only you, as long as it's tight to your body, will know what's left in your final cylinder and can kind of keep track of your ammo that way. Does it have a built-in ammo counter? No, but you have a pretty good idea of these being 20 each, what you have left just at a glance. So like, this is 5 6 full uh, as it stands right now. But overall, the deco is good. It is painted on both sides. You get the Phantom Core logo on both sides. You don't get the Rival logo on this side, but they have to put their legal disclaimer somewhere. Uh, the black and white is sweet. It will obviously paint up very nicely, but like overall, just a really, really cool uh, full-size rival rifle. And this is something that we've been missing. Like the target for this line is older players and older players tend to be closer and closer to my size. And so this is very, very comfortable for me. It's very cool. I'm very happy with it. Like I cannot say highly enough that I recommend this blaster. I think it's the best rival blaster probably of all time. I would have said the Nemesis before this, but I don't like the Prometheus more than the Nemesis, and I do like this more than the Nemesis. So, uh, I don't know, for those of you that might be new to the channel, that means we gotta start coming up with a name for this thing, because it might uh, be undergoing some, uh, some interesting metamorphosis in the near future. But uh, this is a solid blaster. It's well worth the price tag. Nerf blasters keep getting more and more expensive, but this one I think lives up to the hype. And if you can get it on sale, it's a steal. So I will put a link to it in the Amazon. Uh, <laughs> I'll put a link to it on Amazon in the description box below. That link does help support the channel, but this is my top rival pick uh, as it stands right now. There might be something cooler coming out around Christmas. There is. But that is my take on the rival Hades as it stands right now. I, I can't wait to take it to an SE&C field, guys. It is so sweet.